our coverage of CES 2025 is brought to you by Alison and Hirscht. Thanks to them, we don't have to sleep at the airport tonight. To say that 2024 was a rough year for Intel is like saying 1939 was a bad year for Europe. And that of course all led to the rather embarrassing fact that the press conference at CES had to be hosted by a interim CEO while we wait for a proper replacement for Pat Gelsinger. But are any of the things that actually showed off exciting? Well, it depends on what you are after. First off, they did talk a bit about the brand new Battle Mage graphics cards with the first one launching recently. However, they announced no new SKUs whatsoever, which is a bit weird. Though, I guess they're just taking their time seeing how the market's going to react to this initial few ones. However, when they really spoke a lot is about a laptop. SKUs, starting off the brand new Core Ultra 200H CPUs, and these things are kind of insane, up to 16 cores, 99 tops of area performance if you're into that kind of stuff, 8 GPU cores, and all that in a 45 watt TDP maximum. Though of course if you're into more performance, then well you are also getting the brand new 200HX chips as well with a flagship that being a 285HX, featuring up to 24 cores, 5.5 GHz maximum boost, and all of that launching this quarter, with both the H and HX showing some pretty huge improvements over last year, and of course, importantly, over the competition. Finally, they finished off the show by also teasing the brand new 18A Panther Lake chips. They didn't talk much more about that, with performance limits and everything else coming later, and the CPUs themselves most likely coming in the second half of 2025. In the end, I think what they showed off is pretty safe, but also good enough to at least show people that that company isn't going anywhere. However, they also have the lucky or unlucky position, depending on how you see it, of going first. Seeing how their press conference was at 8.30 a.m., while AMD and NVIDIA will be hosting their own keynotes well, later today. So pretty much all the praise I sang to Intel could be void by the time that those conferences happen. So definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our coverage from when those two are happening. If you're traveling abroad and need a cheap data plan, then nothing beats AlloSim, and it can be even cheaper if you use the code of Runner for three dollars off. Meaning you can get a week's worth of data for your travels for as little as one dollar fifty. And while you're at it, why not make use of Hush's excellent lifetime phone number deal, offering a foreign phone number for just twenty-five dollars for life. So check these out down in the video description below. And maybe check out our Patreon as well. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, just Rage, Elavroniak, Butterfoker, Butter Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, and Level Up.